Hi everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor Software Program. As usual, let's start with our risk disclaimer and just remind you that all examples in these videos should be considered as hypothetical. No trades are actually taken, they're just shown for illustration and training purposes only. Remind you there's a risk of loss in trading and investing, or put another way, all professional traders know and understand, but more importantly accept, that losses can and will and do unfold. This is an important point to understand, as I said, accept that there always will be losing trades no matter what approach you do uh, in the markets. In today's MT Predictor video, I'd like to look at how the ES unfolded yesterday, which was Friday, August the 31st. Um, interesting day because we had some nice setups. You can see here TS4 sell on a black MTP trend that now the very bar of the high of the day. Then a VS buy setup, again on a black MTP trend, then now the very bar of the low of the day. Then we had a TS1, way three, um, long trade up into clo the close there. Uh, as usual, I want to stress that MT Predictor is not a black box system. The reason being is that markets go in cycles. So like this day was a really good day when we had three very good trade setups. The previous day, the patterns were not very clear at all and the previous day there was sort of virtually no setups at all. Uh, that history triangle there was against a, a blue MTP trend. So what we look for is nice, clear, clean uh, patterns. And uh, we understand that these only happen about 50% of the time. The other half or the other 50% markets are basically random and you shouldn't be doing any analysis at all. So let's have a look at this TS4 cell setup. Here if we right mouse click, place the analysis on, you can see the market went down to the first target there, which is a very nice uh, plus 4.5 hour profit. So a very nice trade there to start off. Uh, remember we use correct position sizing, in this case keeping um, less than 2% risk on a sample $20,000 account. There was a history triangle here, but there was no reason to want to swap from this um, short trade here. The reason being is when we go to our higher time frame chart, if we now go to our 15 minute chart, remember our higher time frame is a time frame between three and five time frames higher. In other words, we're looking for a 15 minute chart if you're trading a three minute chart, if you're trading a daily, you'd be looking at weekly, if you're say trading a 15 minute Forex for example, you'd be looking to hourly. And the reason we're saying that the larger trend is down is because this would basically be the last uh, pivot low here. And as you can see, the market hadn't got down to this, this low. In other words, the large view trend was still down. Also, as the market was going down here off this TS4 cell here, if I right mouse click, do DP. Remember, this would have been on the chart in advance. So I'll just clear that off again and just show you. If I use our trading mode and go back to here, this is when the TS4 uh, cell came in on the three minute chart. MTP trend is uh, grey, we right mouse click, do decision point, that would have been on the chart there in advance. You can see that's on there before the market even got down there. If I turn trading mode off, you see the market came down and uh, that uh, basically nailed the low of the day for you. So if we now go back to our three minute chart, can you see how this TS4 cell was in the direction of the large view trend down into this support zone. So that would have been a very good trade. The market then came into this higher time frame uh, support here. It then went up, came back down again, and then made a VS or volume spike buy setup. If we right mouse click here, place our analysis on, this would have given us a long trade. The market never got up to the target before the close. If you'd held this all the way through, the profit would have been approximately 3.8 R profit. So that would have been a nice trade as well. If you'd have missed this one, there was a great example of our Wave 3 trade set up a bit later in the day. For you guys who've been following MT Predictor for a while will know that these are basically off an Elliott Wave 3 or looking to trade an Elliott Wave 3. If I right mouse click to Elliott Wave Intermediate, whoops, off that bar, Elliott Wave Intermediate, you can see what we're looking to try and do is trade off the end of a Wave 2, which is here, up into a Wave 3. And this is normally a good trade because a Wave 3 is normally the strongest and longest in a completed five wave sequence. So that's why it's one of my um, or our favorite uh, trade setups. So let's have a look at this. Remember we start our sequence um, 
when we have a large degree support or resistance. This is our unique isolation approach to Elliott Wave. The reason we do this is because, as we outlined earlier in the video, markets go in cycles where they're clear. The patterns are clear sometimes, about 50% of the time, and at other times the market patterns are unclear. So we decide that the market's clear by making a meaningful support or resistance or reversal at a higher time frame support or resistance. You see, that's exactly what happened at the low here. So the initial rally up here would have been a wave one. Incidentally, that actually came in at DP of the last little minor swing down to the low there. You can see that made the resistance there. So that would have been a wave one. We're then looking for a minor ABC correction into a wave two, which is what our wave three trade setup is. So if I right mouse click over that blue buy bar, place the analysis on, you can see there's our ABC um, uh, pattern into the wave, uh, what would be a wave two. And now we're looking to trade up here to a wave three. The initial target would have been at the typical wave three WPT, where the potential profit would have been uh, 3.1R or just over three times the initial risk. Or if you'd um, wanted to take this into the close, were there any reasons for that? Well, yes, there were, because if we get to the 15 minute chart, we take our DP resistance off this uh, last high up here. So on the higher time frame, this would have been our resistance area. Remember, we were coming off higher time frame support here as of the low of the day. So if we now come back to our three minute chart, you'll see that the market hadn't reached this higher time frame resistance. So there wasn't any real reason to want to come out at this level here. If you wanted to, you could perhaps trail with your ATR stop. And again, that would have kept you into uh, the close where a potential five hour profit was available. If you hadn't have done that, again, 3R profit is a very nice trade indeed. So as you can see, a nice day um, yesterday, August 31st or on uh, for MT Predictor on the ES, where we had a TS4 sell here. Uh, actually, one thing I ought to say for the more experienced users is another reason why that TS4 sell uh, would have looked good, because at this particular point in time, which was uh, about 20 past 10 or 10.18, on the day session only chart, which is what we've got here. If we look at the 15 minute chart, you can see here's my analysis I did myself at the time, is that as the market was going up into that 10.15 high, which was here, there you go, your 10.15 high there, you can see on the 24 hour chart, the market was coming into DP resistance. Very nicely indeed. That was taken off that prior high there. So if I clear that all off, you can see the DP resistance of that level would have come into this area here. The low of the day support was coming off that area there as well. So that was another reason why that TS4 sell there early in the day was a good one to take and why it was in the direction of the large degree downtrend, not just on the uh, day session only chart, which is what we've got here, but also there was resistance at our 24 hour chart up here as well at the same time. So that gave you added confidence. So a good trade there initially where we had a potential plus 4.5 R profit um, down into the higher time frame uh, DP resistance there. And then was the potential VS buy setup um, as of the very bar below. Or if you'd missed that, there was a potential wave three trade setup to catch the rally uh, later in the day as well. So a good example of some MT predictor trade setups that unfolded yesterday August the 31st.